Good morning, third graders, and welcome to math again with Mrs. Halverson. Scholars, I'm really excited to be talking to you today again about mental math strategies. So the last two days we've been talking about making 10 strategy, right? So changing numbers that you don't like into numbers that you do like in order to solve uh, addition or subtraction problems. Today, I'm so excited because we are going to be learning about my favorite mental math strategies. Here they are. The mental math strategies we're going to be working on today are called compensation and the tens and ones strategy. I love these two uh, mental math strategies because they help me with shopping, right? If I'm going around and I have a certain amount of money that I want to spend and I can pick out different items and just add them up in my head to make sure that I don't go over. So that's why I really like mental math strategies. Okay, so the first compensation. So compensation, again, is changing numbers that you don't really like into numbers that you do like and then compensating. So Mrs. Halverson, what do you mean by that? Good question. First, we're gonna start off with a problem like this. Let's do 312 plus 98 equals. Okay, now even though some of you can probably do this just like that in your head because you have a math brain, um, I don't really like these numbers to add. I want it to, to be easier, okay? I'm that kind of mathematician. I want the numbers to be really easy. So I don't like these numbers. But I do like a number that's really close to 98. Can you guess what it is? What's a really easy number that's close to 98 that's easy to add? That's right, 100. So we're gonna turn this 98 into a 100. Okay, now we have 312 plus 100 equals 412. But wait. We are not done because this isn't actually the number that we're adding, right? This is the number we're adding. So how many more did we add to this one than we did to this one? Two, right. To get from 98 to 100, you need to add two. So in order to get back down to 98, you need to subtract two. And then we get our answer of 410. So what's happening, and the reason that we call this compensation is because we're changing the number that we don't like to something that's easy to add, and then we're compensating at the end. So this minus two is the compensating number. Let's try one more together, then I'm gonna have you try it on your own. All right, let's say we have this number, 627 minus 99. Okay, now again, many of you can do it like that, but my math brain likes to add numbers that are really easy. So I don't think either of these numbers is really easy, but I do know a number that's really close to 99 that is really easy. What, what am I talking about? That's right, 100. So I'm gonna change this 99 to 100. And we're gonna have 627 plus 100, which equals 727. Now wait, we're not done. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky and maybe the last one was a little bit tricky for you too. This time we're taking away numbers, right? Now we want to take away 99 from 627, but we took away 100. Did we take away too many or too few? We took away too many, good, one too many. To get from 99 to 100, you need to add one, okay? So we need to add one here because we took away too many. We, have, we end up with our answer 
28. All right, here we go. I'm gonna let you do one addition on your own and one subtraction on your own. Okay, here we go. This will be your addition. Now ask yourself, when you change this to 100, are you taking away too many or too few? Excuse me, are you adding too many or too few? And then, again, think about how we get from 97 to 100. And then at the end, are you adding too many or too few? Go ahead, pause your device, try this on your own. Welcome back, scholars. I hope you're like me um, in these two problems. And you decided, no, nope, I don't like these numbers. I want to have numbers that are easy to add and subtract. So we're going to change this 98. We're going to add two and make it 100. Okay. Let's move this down. Now. We're going to add 74 to 100. We're going to get 174. Now, did we add too many or too few? We added 100. We actually want to be adding 98. Did we add too many or too few? That's right, we added too many. So now we need to subtract two. 174 minus 2 is 172. That's our answer. All right. If you have any questions about this, see your math teacher at their office hours. Okay, here we go. I'm going to move this one up now because I'm thinking we're going to need some room to really flesh this out. 371 minus 97. All right. I don't like 97. I'm going to change it to, you guessed it, 100. How do you get from 97 to 100? You have to add how many? Three. That's right. 100, or excuse me, 371 minus 100 is 271. Now we need to ask ourselves, did we take away too many or too few? We took away too many, right? Three too many. So we need to add three back into this answer. We get our answer of 274. All right, scholars, that is our mental math strategy called compensation. Now, if we were in person and you were in my math class, we would do mental math every single day, and a lot of you would get really familiar with compensation. So I hope that you're ready for that once we come back to school. All right, now check. We did compensation. Now our next one is called the tens and one strategy. Now the tens and one strategy can be used in multiplication, um, addition and subtraction. So today we're just going to look at addition, okay? So the tens and one strategy for adding multiple numbers, okay? So we're gonna start with uh, several two digit numbers, okay? So we have 64 plus 17 plus 21 plus 40. And we call this the tens and one strategy. We start with the tens, okay? Let's look at all the tens that we have here. We have six tens, one ten, two tens, and four tens. Let's figure out how many tens we have all together. Six plus one is seven, good. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 
plus 4 is 13. So we have 13 tens. Now, what does 13 tens really mean? Good. 13 tens is 130. So, so far we've added up all these tens and we've gotten 130. Okay. So now we're done with the tens. Let's go to our ones here. We have a four, seven, one, and a zero. So four plus seven is 11, good. 11 plus two, or excuse me, 11 plus one is 12, good. 12 plus zero is still 12. So now we have 130 that we got from having 60, 10, 20 and 40, we got 130. And now we have 12 from 4, 7, 1, and 0. So 130 plus 12 equals our answer, which is what? Good. 142. Let's do one more like this, and I'll send you off on your own. Okay. Let's do okay. Thirty five plus forty two plus twenty seven plus nineteen. Remember, tens and ones. So, first, we're going to add the tens, and I want you to help me out at home. Be paying attention, but also be calling out the answers to the questions that I ask you. Let's start with the tens. We have a 30, 40, 20, and a 10. So we're just gonna say three tens though, instead of the actual number. So three tens plus four tens is how many tens? That's right, is seven tens. All right, seven tens plus two tens is how many tens? That's right, nine tens. Nine tens plus one ten is ten tens. Now scholars, what does ten tens actually mean? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good, so out of all the tens, we have 100. All right, so we're done with the tens for now. But we do need to worry about these ones, don't we, friends? We do need to worry about these ones. All right, let's look at our ones. We have a five, a two, a seven, and a nine. Oh my, we can do this, we got this. All right, five plus two is seven. Seven plus seven is 14. 14 plus nine is 23. So we have 100 plus 23, which is going to give us our answer of 100. 23. Okay, are you ready to try it on your own? I think you are. I think you are ready to try it on your own. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. All right, scholars. Pause your device and do this problem using the tens and ones strategy. 73 plus 94 plus 12 plus 29. Go ahead, friends. Okay. 
Welcome back, scholars. I hope that you uh, paused your device and took enough time to solve this correctly. Now, I know that yesterday I talked to you guys about how some people were not watching the videos. So to write cheeseburger, hamburger on the top of your page today to make sure that we all know that you uh, watched the video, I want you to write camo, C-A-M-O, by your name, because that's the print that Mrs. Halverson is wearing today. So go ahead and write camel up by your name, and then your math teacher will know that you watched the video. Awesome. Okay, without further ado, let us do the tens of one strategy. So here are our tens. We have a lot of tens this time. We have a seven, seven tens, plus nine tens, plus one ten, plus two tens. Seven tens plus nine tens is how many tens? 16 tens. Very good. 16 tens plus one ten is 17 tens. Very good. 17 tens plus two tens is how many tens? 19 tens, good. And 19 tens actually means what number, friends? What number is 19 tens? That's right, 190. All right, so we've taken care of our tens for now. Now we need to take care of our ones. We have three, four, two, and nine. Three and four make, three plus four is seven, good. Seven plus two is nine, good. Nine plus nine is 18. So since they're ones, we don't need to say 18 tenths, it's just 18. So 190 plus 18 equals what? Good, 108. Nope, sorry, 208, right? Mrs. Halverson, right? Because if we break this up into 10, and eight, 190 plus 10 is 200 plus eight. Scholars, do you remember this one? It's the make 10 strategy that we used yesterday. So you can use all these strategies together to be able to add a bunch of numbers in your head um, when you want to. All right, friends, I hope that you enjoyed our lesson today. I know that I did. I love mental math. And I will see you guys tomorrow or on Monday. Um, see you later.